And with so many Western New Yorkers waiting for their unemployment benefits, some local leaders are working to make sure that people who have been waiting a long time get their claims. Two on your side's Kelly Dudzik is here now with how one lawmaker is holding the State Department of Labor accountable. A lot of you have contacted me saying you've been waiting for eight weeks or more for your unemployment benefits. Well, Assemblymember Monica Wallace wants the Department of Labor to approve anybody who's been pending for 30 days or more. Just go ahead, assume the validity of that application, send them the money, and then when, we, when the situation is less dire, let's look deeply and make sure that that was the amount of money they were entitled to, that it should have been paid properly. And if there was a mistake, if there was an error, we can fix it at that point. But for some people, we really need to get money in their hands right away. Wallace has gotten a lot of calls and emails from people waiting for their benefits and has been helping them connect with the Department of Labor. Do you think that the Department of Labor has been forthcoming enough with information? I think the Department of Labor has been doing its best, in all honesty, under very extraordinary circumstances. As we all know, mil you know we have 19 million people in New York State, and so many of them have been, you know, millions and millions and millions of New Yorkers have been laid off um, or found themselves out of work in a very, very short period of time. And so, you know, I do know for a fact that they've been working around the clock, really trying to make this right. What I'm saying is, you know, despite best efforts, there's a group of people, for whatever reason, that have fallen through the cracks, and we need to get to those people right away. New tonight at 6, we'll hear from a Lancaster woman who was waiting for more than six weeks for her unemployment benefits. She was able to get them, and all it took was sending an email. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.